Star produced it. It's John, playing mad and he's going to the top. Lil' bro trying to ice out his watch. A 21, he ain't running no clock. Step up in the pocket, die. These niggas is soft like cotton. Style ain't free, so it ain't no cop. We sending the blitz and it ain't no blocking. Why is they trying to be like me? I'm on the one, no, it ain't no mini me. Oh, niggas, they in my pocket or it's in my hand. They never under the seat. Ain't no hesitation, we eliminate, but don't get put up on TV. A blind man can see that I'm a real reaper. Customize all black street sweeper. Damn, I got fans, they leeching. Don't get comfortable and start reaching. Like class and session, I be teaching. Real walk down shit, young nigga creeping. Link up, song go, we'll meet you. Turn in the field like they young nigga meeching. Squeeze till I'm out of breath, young nigga wheezing. Grow my shit out, I just feel like I'm wheezing. Lit, I went on the weekends. While y'all in the house, they scheming. Got your bitch over and she steady teasing. Let him pull up in this photo, be steaming. Leave his mouth just looking like tweezing. I don't trust new niggas, cause they deceiving. Niggas out here really change like the seasons. And you don't even gotta give them a reason. A good reason, cause his ass be thieving. Yo, I don't even play with the rock we reaching. Most of these niggas don't even play defense. I'm on the court while these niggas bleed shit. Get too quick. Don't be blinking. We need a whole team neck blinging. Better not get in that room and be singing. We up the score and they say that we cheating. I just call it really getting even. Stay patting shit. I'm just Kyrie and dunk on the I quit. Be seeing. Whistle be blowing like they refereeing. Crowd go crazy. Yeah, they all screaming. They know these young niggas out here. Detail, bro, pull up and get back on defense. I know we throwing shit just like open season. What's going on, y'all? The biggest speaker. We back with another intense mcs tourney game this also was a two hundred fifty thousand dollar game this was the thanksgiving tournament though losers bracket double limbs this was my second loss i know i might not post all my l's or a lot of l's but i do make sure i get out the l's for y'all make sure y'all see how i lost in these especially these high level this tournament games mcs games these, these games matter a lot Good amount of significance to me and my tournament runs uh, for future runs if I do go on a future run games I can look back on and just say damn it's really been a tough row or damn like games you look back and say it, everything is, is worth it you know when you finally do make that run so this builds a lot of character this definitely builds toughness and this makes you this this helps you play as hard as you need to play in the future when you get in those tough games again when you play those same people down the road you know what to do you know what not to do you know your mistakes your mistakes run in your head always gonna be playing back in your head whether it's a regular game whether it's just head to head whatever you're always gonna remember what you done did especially when the games that matter definitely want to make sure i get this content out for you guys Drop a like, drop a comment. It hasn't been a lot of comments on what's going on. Comments used to flow. Let me know the type of videos you guys want to see. Let me know uh, what I need more of. Or just any feedback. Feedback is not necessarily the video feedback. Feedback is also what type of videos I'm putting out for you guys to see. You guys want to all see just sweat games, MCS games, all these 250K tournaments. Y'all want to see how it goes. Y'all want to see my head to head. I don't play franchise, not any franchise leagues. There is a money league you guys are watching and you want me in there let me know uh, just don't set me up with a jank team you gonna be all right just let me know i don't play the yard um if you guys want to see money games you know those are intense too and definitely worth watching if you guys want to see some offense some defense and you know, I, I don't have any regulars on my channel for uh madden 22 so yeah just let me know in the comments drop a like for sure make sure you guys are sub and follow me on TikTok, man. I got some crazy videos on there for y'all. I got some angry videos coming out. Um, yeah, just let me know, man. Paper out bids. Hope y'all enjoy the video, man. Let's get it. All right, so let's play from the little inside zone just to just try to get things going. So we got him at a little third and 11 early in the game. Play some pretty stiff defense. I think it was just two runs. Goes ahead and runs the mesh post right here. Hits with a drag underneath. So we got him at a fourth and three. Decides to run curl flat with a corner route and a curl route by a tight end. We go ahead and pick him off. We got our stop the very first drive, the very first set of downs, which is huge. All right, so off top, first play of the game, I'm trying to bomb him. Do we have our bomb? We absolutely have our bomb for a touchdown. He's right. The game's gonna go great. So we got him at a first and 10, of course. He gets the ball back. I'm trying to make something happen now. He already got stopped one time. You get some glitchy sheds up front, you get a lot of pressure in there. So that's huge on first down. All right, so now we're looking at second and long. Tried to set up some defense, but he went ahead to hike the ball. He stepped up in the pocket, everybody ran down. He hit me with the clear out play out of Seattle. All right, so after he picks up the first down, 
He goes ahead and hits me with a bunch of trail. Post route wide open. Uh, easiest touchdown for him. It was as easy as my touchdown. Can't, can't do that, just bottom line. Get the ball back, I'm at a third and seven. Go ahead and run my play, get some little crossers going on, a little hitch route. It's something for him to have to go chase. It's something he has to go honor. Right here with him with a little inside zone, pick up some yards, just trying to get a first down. Just trying to get some positive yards mainly. Ended up getting the first though. Almost sprung for a touchdown. All right, for some reason that last play, Reggie Bush was in the game, not even powered up. I was trying to do a package sub and he ended up just in the game. I was trying to swap with receivers, but I wasn't paying attention. So I had to end up running zone. But here we got a delay fade for a nice pickup on the first down. That bitch up, Mike. Right, so right here on second and nine, we get absolutely screamed out. I don't know what happened. Ted just shed it so crazy. So now it's third and 16. Probably should have just hit circle right here. Probably did a move and I might have got the first down, but that's you have to take the reads, you have to take your throws in these games. You can't just sit there. Somebody flies across your face immediately, he's wide open. You should probably hit him. You mess around, wait for something else to get open that's developing and not have the time, especially against good players. Here he is at a first and 10 on his own 40 yard line. He flipped the play and ended up running a crosser right here, wide open, deep down the field on the, on the sideline. Doesn't move. He ends up scoring. For the free touchdown, I just cannot give up in games like this. That's, that's too. That's way too easy, especially for a player like Wesley. We ran the ball on first down, got blown up in the backfield, got hit stick actually in the hole. So here we are again, rolling out, trying to hit our post route. Great patience, great ball by Josh Allen. It's just a great play overall. We got ourselves enough space and time on the sidelines to let that ball go. Josh Allen has an amazing arm and made the throw, just patience. All right, so here he is, got a second and six on my 45. He's just basically just running out some clock, trying to keep it on the ground, but also trying to keep things short so I don't get the ball back before half. So here we are at third and three. He has a couple of hot routes and he ends up hitting his drag for a positive gain. He ends up making a couple people miss. Tackling is horrible for me. And we end up getting him out of bounds at three yard line. We hit him for a loss a couple plays in a, in a row. Go ahead and use two timeouts. He runs stretch and Byron Jones just misses the tackle. Very unfortunate. Dad Henry is a hard man to tackle on the open field. As you guys know, that play mud. Hard to tackle in real life too. But I feel like I feel like Byron Jones has to make that tackle for me. He just misses. So after a couple downs, I find nothing. Have to end up throwing the ball away. We go ahead and roll out here and hit our man on the crosser route. Great patience. Great route by Brandon Marshall. Way to get out of bounds too. That was just everything just worked out perfect right there. So we get in range for a field when we get up. All right, straight out the half. He doesn't call a timeout right here. We catch him in dollar. When we come out and deuce, we spin immediately. Everybody gets pancake. And we're to the crib. My lineman tried to hate and stop me from scoring. I don't know what he's doing. He would have definitely got chewed out on the sideline. He might have been benched the rest of the game. It was a great run. I mean, everybody was pancake, so I didn't have to do much except for at the start of the play, just a little spin. He shot it. I knew he I knew he had potential to shoot it though. I think this was still when the speed burst was going on, speed boost. You could uh shoot shoot the run basically with a turbo. And um I just knew I just had to make him miss and everybody else's pancakes from there. I don't know why he didn't call a timeout, knowing he was playing me, but I don't He probably just didn't want to burn one. He probably just took his chances really. Here we are out the half at a third and ten for his first drive. Another interception to start the game on his first drive. Both halves went just like that. You wouldn't know why just have this game on. Stay tuned. Right, so right here, we're at an important third and ten. Try to drop a cross over a curl. I'm just trying to figure this first down. In my head, I have the clip game in my mind still. Curl was played perfect. Whole play was dead. Everything was played perfect. Wesley started playing crazy, crazy defense crazy defense that he hasn't played all game and that's just a great player Justin props to Wesley for sure for how he played in the second half after that pick real real he played for real right here was just the hottest pass of the game I'm gonna run this back for y'all one more time I actually forgot about this play he paused the game and we sat there we 1000% sat there because I saw, the, I drew it up and saw my read. I saw the play, I saw he might not. I stepped all the way up in the pocket, just knew he wouldn't be able to play that. He paused the game. I said, okay, bet, we'll sit here. 
I'm gonna play that back for y'all. We're not gonna see it in this video though. I'm gonna play this back. Stack that bitch up, Mike. You're a corner route. Watch the pocket. Step up, step up, step up. This ball becomes easier to throw the further you step up into the pocket. We all know that. I see his man scooting over here. And I see my window. I see he was not following this man. He's already snapped. There's nothing else I can throw right here. I'm not throwing him any of these guys short. This is a dot. That guy out there is in a quarter or a third, 1,000%. I have my window. I'm aiming for this 30-yard marker right there. Right there on the numbers. He was still running this corner, though. But he expected this guy to end up playing it. And I know this guy out there is... All right, so I'm not going to say this guy. So the guy, the man, I should say, furthest in the back to the left was in the, in the quarter, 1,000%. Maybe he's in the third, maybe he's in the quarter. I think he's in the quarter the way he turned around so fast. This man underneath, around the 35-yard line, had no business playing this ball. He was still scooting, and I had my window. I had the window I wanted. Knowing the, knowing the furthest corner can't get there, this guy right here, he just missed the ball. His dive was crazy. In there. Look how far he is. That's why his dive was that crazy. He wasn't supposed to play that ball. Great catch, great throw by Josh Allen. It was just simple, but the game looked, made it look crazy because he got a dive in animation, which he was not near that ball. So we get to a third and 12. Right here, I'm thinking don't force anything. We have points. He has to end up scoring nine points if I don't get this. So we just run the ball and go ahead and take our three. So now we have Wesley in a tough position. He already turned the ball over. He's down two possessions. So he, he has to make something work right here. He finds Jared Cook on a low ball and a wheel route. The scene, great pass, great read, horrible defense by me. So here we are on first and 10. He finds Jared Cook again on the in route. Jared Cook just started just cooking me, basically. He started taking his reads and, and he started making progress down the field. Just, just good pickups. He being down, knowing he has to make up for time. You know huddles. And what does he run? Finds trail. What is it? Wide open, down the middle of the field, Randy Moss. Again, for the second or third mind. time, I can't make it that easy. Why is Montreal wide open? Why did he go down the field? in maybe what a minute 45 seconds with that why did he go down the field so easy and now i'm just trying to run the clock first down i think i ran the ball second down i hit my running back in the flat on the table route third down i'm in the goal line trying to run full back dive and wesley just blows the whole gap up he's sticking off i know huddle and yes i'm going for this i'm on my own 33. i know he automatically has a field goal but he can't really chew the clock so we find jared cook in the flat so here we are first and 10, and right now I'm thinking another first down, and this game might be solid. This game might just really be cooked. I'm running the ball 1,000%, and you know that. He shoots the hell out the gap again, and Wesley is just getting real crazy at shoot the gap. He's killing my players. I'm thinking, man, I'm gonna have to go back in a bunch tight. I'm gonna have to go past this ball now. There's no way I just keep running the ball, and he keeps just blowing everything up. Absolutely not. So here we are on second and 13. I have my running back. His soft squats or flats, whatever they want. They were probably clouds. I, I bet they were probably soft squats. They were playing amazing in the flats. So now we're at a third and 10, and we need to pick up a first down. All right, so right here, I'm looking for my running back up the seam. I have him. Amazing tackle by Wesley. It was a great draw. It was a beautifully drawn up play. I think I for sure should have got that first down. There's nothing I could have did to get that first down. Nothing different I could have done. But here we are at fourth and one. I just knew this was a good play to draw. I end up putting my running back on an out route. Shows him hits, but I end up putting on an out route. So right here. I don't think this is a bad read at all. As you see, the corner out there, his whole back is turned. There's nowhere else I could have threw this ball. You're probably, I probably could have hit circle right here. People are in the clutter on the left side. Job, <laughs> I think I played great this whole game. I think I played amazing the whole way through. I had a hitch with a flat with a corner on the outside. I was gonna, it was almost similar play to what I ran earlier. I think this is an amazing combo. The route was probably bad. As I see now, it wasn't a sharp route. Dude was off, but why would my running back run upward? The dot is horrible as a whole anyway. I. I definitely pass let this to the right, but the, at the angle, 
from what it looks like, the angle of the throw, though, based off the receiver, that's where Josh Allen had to place the ball, I guess. But, I mean, just look. I'm trying to go save the ball because I realize this corner is breaking on this so crazy. Don't know how he broke on that. He was definitely bailing, but he broke on it, dive. Now I lost 1,000%. I don't... If I can't complete that out route with him bailing right there, I just lost. Then another amazing acrobatic play that just stops me from being great in Madden. And I don't think that was a bad play at all. I don't think it I don't think it was the worst play. I don't think it was a bad read either. But here we are trying to stop him from getting in field goal range and in critical moments against Wesley. That's come on now. So here we are on second and eight after he ran inside zone. He finds who's from another drag route. Tried to scream at him. Try to put some pressure on him. Nobody got home. Easily in field goal range right now. And right here is my last set of downs to try to try to make him kick early. Try to get the ball back. So he ran the ball first down. Got shot up. So he immediately goes to pass the next down. Just like I did earlier. Because you're not just going to keep getting blown up in the backfield. So... He drops back, runs mesh post, has an amazing pocket, ends up running for the easy first down. And at that point, I lost this game. I feel like both of my losses in this tournament, I played my ass off. I don't, I feel like my time has to come soon. I'm not gonna lie. Just don't know when. I just know I can't keep losing like that when I'm playing like this. I don't, there's no way. He started the game throwing a pick. He started the second half throwing a pick on his first possession. I didn't turn the ball over at all the whole game until that last drive. That was just very, that was a, the craziest play again. Another acrobatic pick. One from Cam Chancellor in the club game. One from Ronnie Lott in this game. And this is how I got knocked out of the tournament for both of my L's. So just wanted to make sure I put this out for you guys. I don't know I don't post all my L's, but these L's are very important. And for the people that didn't get to see it, uh, now you see it. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, drop a like, drop a comment. Make sure you guys sub. It's free to sub on here. Uh, help me grow. Appreciate y'all a lot. I'm going to keep on getting these videos out for you guys. Uh, make sure you guys follow the Twitch. I'm streaming at least four to five times a week. GG's to Wesley. Let me know what y'all want to see, man. Y'all stay safe out here, man. Y'all keep grinding. For sure, man. Let's go.